In this video, I'm going to talk about a smart narrative visual that's a visual that helps you to summarize your report and actually provide an overview of what is happening in a report for you when you have lots of uh, actually different analysis and you want to highlight the most important things happening there. So uh, I already created, but let me remove it. So uh, a smart narrative is actually this visual. Uh, if you want to access it, it still is in preview. So you need to go to the file option, uh, sorry, option and setting and then option. And under the preview feature, you able to access that one so you can see this is a smart native visual you uh, it's a preview feature that means it may change or uh, in some scenario maybe removing future release but to access it now you can actually enable it uh, close power bi and open it again so this is i'm going to show you a smart narrative visual in three different data set with a different uh, visuals that i have here so the first one that is here is actually comes from a database named um, AdventureWorks. So it's a simple one, sales amount by English product, subcategory name, uh, sales amount year to date by year, and also same period last year and sales amount over here. So uh, this is very simple visual. Uh, I'm going to add it. So when I click on that, uh, it's going to bring me some uh, kind of important things happen here. So as you see that there is a text summarize what has happened and you see that in uh, under some of the number and also under some of the name there is a blue line so i'm going to click on that when i click on them i can see there is a value here so it says that the value uh, actually is uh, generated automatically as you can see this number is maximum sales amount by english product subcategory name or if i click on the road box is actually ask the english product name with a max cell so this actually it is show that how we can actually uh, write it also so that means that you can generate your own and for example, if I click on the other one, that is this one, is in a different measure that is showing English product subcategory name with the highest total of the sales amount. So uh, these are the, actually the uh, some of the overview generated from your reports. And these are the very simple calculation and they are simple measure that actually you can use here. You can actually check the formula. You can actually change there. Uh, they are so similar to the uh, Q&A visual that we have. So most of these things is actually has been created there. So you can add also yourself. So uh, you can actually uh, start to write. So I'm going to uh, create a value that is um, kind of I'm going to add a value here. So add a value, uh, same as the Q&A visual, there is a ask a question about your data. So you can set um, kind of the maximum, for example, sales. Uh, so I just write it maximum sales amount by English product. So these are the per box that has that one. So uh, kind of we can add a sentence so this is a value that we have so maximum sales amount by the english product name so we're looking for a english product name that has a maximum sales amount so i'm going to add that one you can add it that here the um, kind of we can set the highest the max sales amount among products so this actually uh, in this scenario, you can add your own customized, uh, actually narrative visual, and you can actually edit it whenever you like it. So these are the kind of the one that have, I'm going to add on other. So this is another data set that I have. This data set talking about the, uh, actually the uh, selling the book with different uh, author. So I just click on, a smart narrative visual and is going to find out some highlights from my uh, chart so the quantity trend up resulting increase between 
these two here which is nice so again same as the before you can add uh, other item that you want easily here or you can kind of change the formula that you have here and uh, kind of uh, make it uh, personalized or remove the one that you don't like it so you see that is actually same as the before and in any visual uh, in any report is able to gather through the different item over here there are some limitations still on that so it's uh, the lim limitation is that uh, when you publish it uh, is it not able to print to a dashboard so you couldn't you couldn't do that um it's not applied for the conditional formatting uh, not uh, still working for azure analysis services uh, it's not maybe work for kpr card multiple row cards maps and table and R and Python visual yet. And um, actually it's not going to summarize the visual that is themselves is also grouped by other column. And so these are the, some of the um, limitation that has and you couldn't apply the smart narrative visual through that. Uh, this summary is actually is dynamic so that means that is actually by the selection of the actually the uh, kind of the by selection is can be impacted and generate different scenario for us so as you can see it's become totally different when i'm actually selecting one so for example if i select a specific city then it can be changed which is really actually Good. So it's for example, I click on Silicon Valley and you can see the quantity is uh, for this uh, book uh, was higher than actually the other. So it's based on the city that we have. So you can actually, uh, so it's the interactiveness of that that's provide different story over here. So you can try it in different ones. So for example, uh, what's happened in 2005. So the data that you can see for the road bug is related to the 2005. Five. and uh, some of the narrative will be gone when it's limited to the specific year so this is a nice thing about that that actually is can be acceptable even when you slice and dice your report thanks so much for watching this video hope you enjoy it